Hi, in this video, we are going to begin structures. So basically, in C programming, we have already taken a very deeper look in the variables and data types. So if I want to create any variable, I can simply pass a data type along with the name of my variable, which is nothing but an identifier. But if I want to create an entity like thing, then that is actually not possible so far, whatever we have done in the C language. For example, if I want to create the record of employee type, when I say employee, it carries a lot of things inside. For example, the employee ID, name of the employee, maybe salary, department, and many more things. So even if we want, we can define all these types of variables like ID, name separately, but it will not be a combination and combinedly it will not be an entity. So for such purposes, we can come here for the structures which are nothing but a complex user defined data type. So whenever you want to define a structure, you can use the struct keyword followed by the name of your data type. So for example, as I said, if I want to keep the data details information of anything, any entity such as employees, books, etc. So for example, here we have taken an example of books like title, author, uh, subject, book ID. So we can sep uh, create separate variables for that. But if I want to do a combined definition of an entity, then it will be possible only through this structure. So how can I do that? Struct struct tag means the name of the structure since i said it's a user defined data type so user means you as a developer will give a name to this particular data type like here struct book inside this care array of title for author for subject and integer book id so after that this is the complete data type like for example starting from the struct keyword till the closing parentheses this is the complete data type and after data type, we specify the name of identifier. So this book is nothing but the name of identifier. So this book is a variable of struct book type inside which you have the several things like title, author, subject, book ID. Now, if you want to access any element of this structure, then along with the variable name, you can simply put, put a dot operator and then you can use any of the uh, identifier which is residing inside it. For example, if the book is the name of my variable or book one is the name of my variable, then what can I do? Book one dot title with some value, right? So dot will be the separator between the name of variable and the field which is inside it. Now, if you will keep on using these structures like that. For example, whenever I will like to, uh, I will have to create a variable of that type. What I'll have to do? Struct book and then the variable names. So if you want to give a smaller name or logical name for this one, so that we don't have to go for struct book every time, I can go for type def. We have already covered type def, which is used for renaming a particular data type. So here you can see struct book and just after that, what we have done type def older data type that is struct book and then the new type. We have already seen the uh, signature, the syntax of type def. So type def keyword, then old data type name, then it's new name, alias name. So here I said book type. This is nothing but a data type. Later, you can just simply continue with this as a data type and then you can define the variables. I'll show you all these things practically just after this. Now, if I talk about pointers, right? Like for example, I have a data type called integer. I can define a normal variable of integer type as well as a pointer for the integer. So very similarly, in the previous, we have seen like how to define the variables, normal variable of structure type. And if I want to create a variable of pointer type for the structure, I can do that as well. Like book type, that's the type def name. All right. So just after that, book type, pointer, struct pointer. 
so that's the name of my pointer and if you want to access any field of this structure using the pointer you can use this arrow operator which is nothing but hyphen greater than symbol combination so it will uh, give a look of the arrow so struct pointer and arrow title title is nothing but one of the field which we have here in the structure so this is how you can access the fields inside a structure either through a normal variable or through a pointer so now let's have a practical implementation of these structures and see how to start working with this complex data type here in this implementation of struct what i have done is i have defined a struct named emp and inside which I have put three attributes of any employee that is ID, name and its designation. Later, if I want, I can just rename the data type struct EMP to anything. Like here, using type def keyword, I have just renamed struct EMP to employee. If you don't want to do that, everywhere in the program where I have specified employee, you will have to replace it with this struct EMP. You will have to write both the things here like struct and EMP both. Now inside the main I am using this employee that is the alias uh, name of this struct EMP and here I have defined one variable E1 of employee type and after that I have assigned the value in each of the attribute which I have specified inside this structure that is the ID name and designation with the respective values and later here you can see I have printed ID name and designation both since here I am accessing the attributes of this structure through the variable if through the normal variable so I have used dot as the separator between the variable name and the attribute but if I want to access the same thing through the pointer I can do that as well like here employee asterisk EP means it is an employee pointer which is storing the address of E1 and as soon as I will store the address I can definitely access the same values through the pointer but by the time I am accessing it through pointer I am using this arrow that is hyphen and greater than symbol together to form this arrow so employee pointer ID employee pointer name and employee pointer designation so in both the cases the value which will be printed will remain same but the way to access the things will be different so here you can check like in first I access it through the variable got the values 100 anadi trainer and later when I access through pointer again the same values which I have assigned since I am storing the value of the same variable so the same values will be retrieved but this time I access it through the pointers using the arrow operator so this is how you can start working with the basic implementation of these structures.